What's up, guys? Welcome to another Five Minute Fatherhood. So Jeff and I are back. This is uh, we've we've been uh, recording these before a lot of the shutdown happened, and now a lot of you guys are in the middle of um, a lot of new stuff. Like, how do you handle having so much of the family at home? Um, what are we going to do economically? So Jeff, and I want to talk through some ideas for you guys in the next few episodes. This one is, do, does a crisis bring your family together or drive it apart? So there's a lot of things to worry about, obviously, um, in this season, you guys. But one of the things that you want to make sure that you're doing is investing in your team in such a way that <clears throat> that as people uh, get worried, as different things, the crisis mounts, there are certain certain ways to design a group of people that crises will drive them together, and there are certain ways to design a group of people that the crisis will drive them apart. So an example, you guys, is that in a team environment where we all know the goal, we're all going for it, then when we face another team or a major obstacle, it tends to drive us together. However, if you're a part of a group and everyone is sort of bought in it as an individual, only for what the they're only in the group for what they can get out of it, crises tend to drive them apart. And unfortunately, you guys, many people today, their families are really designed uh, to, to really be driven apart by a crisis. And so I want to give you guys three really quick things you can start to do right away that will help you begin that process of sort of um, bringing your family together like a team. So they are process together, pray together, and plan together. So what you want to do is have a regular time with your family where you're processing what's going on. How are you guys feeling? Um, understand that emotions are going to fluctuate all over the map. There's you know points in which kids are like kind of like, oh, this is weird and different. Um, and other points where yeah. they may hear news that kind of freak them out, but they haven't told you about it. Process that stuff together. Have a rhythm. I mean, maybe in the evening, uh, where you guys can just hang out, talk. Again, um, bring your family together. Pray together. Like really think and see what those needs are and begin to pray as a team for those things and then plan. Is there projects? Are there things that you, whether it's, you know, cooking together or you have to think through what are the things that you can do as a family that will help you to experience and and really face this crisis as a team together. So I really encourage you guys to think about those process together, pray together, plan together. But Jeff, yeah, what, what are your thoughts about how to... Yeah, the only one thing I would say, which here. was fast, I was thinking of this picture when you were talking was, um, you know, a crisis or tribula- trial, tribulation, you know, end times vibe, Nikolai Carpathia right there. Um, he might show up <laughs> any time now in this moment, you know, this feels, feels, <laughs> right. feels pertinent. Um, but any trial or hardship, that's a better language for it, uh, reveals whether you're a collection of individuals or a team. So, so also let it, don't feel bad about this, but let it kind of speak to what it is and then make changes. And so what I mean by that is like, um, a team like they, cause they're, they do polar opposite things, right? So if a team has team DNA, then when things get hard, they rally, they help, they serve. Right. Um, but if it's a collection of individuals, when things get hard, that turns into hunger games. Right. (laughs) Um, no, seriously. I mean, that's literally like the, yeah. the picture we see out in culture right now. And you even see this, like if you see America as a team, even at some level, you're trying to say, hey, neighbor, how can I help you? And if you're a collection right. of individuals, then you're trying to steal everyone's toilet paper in aisle seven, you know? That's right. And so it's like, <laughs> that is the, the meta picture, the macro picture of what also is happening in a lot of families. So let that speak. Like, what do you, what, what are the impulses that are coming out right now? Um, and also know that this is a really good time for kind of stepping back and pointing yourself towards a team. It's not like, like, you're not like, oh, we're, we're a bunch of individuals. We're helpless. No, it's like, oh, okay, this is revealing. Now let's point it in this direction. And we have a ton of tools and resources. If that feels like you to hopefully come alongside and serve you in that. But yeah, that's what I would say. That makes a lot of sense. And guys, we want you to be aware <clears throat> that, uh, family teams is going to be launching, um, a, a five day challenge to really help you guys make this transition. It's called five days to use the crisis to transform your family into a team. And so what's gonna happen is on Facebook, through this Facebook group, also there'll be a website. You guys can sign up and get these through email. You will get an email uh, every day for five days that'll help you step-by-step in how to begin to make practical transitions from being just a collection of individuals to a family team. So Jeff, any other like details about how that's gonna work? 
Yeah, what I would say is just get in. You'll If you're following us on social or email, you'll see all the details, but just make sure be paying attention and we are here to serve. I think that's what we want to do in this season. We want to unload everything we have and I'm excited. I've never felt more of a burden to serve, I guess, if that's the right. I don't mean burden in the bad way, but I've never felt such a like hunger, I guess, to like, man, we, we can do this. We can hopefully come alongside and help you guys and we collectively, meaning you guys too, can do this, can grow, can point in the right direction. So that's what I would say. 